Meteorologist Joe Hansel with a look at your Sunday forecast. And thanks for tuning in. We go from coast to coast for all of your uh, active weather with a lot of moderate to major impacts. Cities like New York City got a foot plus of snow in the forecast. Areas of some coastal roads uh, near the higher terrain bordering the Pacific Ocean and spots like California have been washing away due to landslides and heavy rain. And we're watching for more of that to uh, intensify today and tomorrow for our first impression into February coming up on Monday. The central U.S. is quiet and dry for an extended period. In terms of rain, a few inches more still looking likely for far northwestern California and southwestern Oregon. Watching for that heavy rain threat that'll be out there. In terms of snow, we got plenty of that as well in the mountains out west and cities like, well, New York City. You got 14 to 18 inches of snow in the forecast starting tonight, lasting all day Monday, even into a portion of Tuesday morning. Could definitely wake up Tuesday morning with a foot plus of snow. It's a heavy, wet snow event as well. Philadelphia have heavy snow in the forecast. Boston, other areas of New England, central eastern Pennsylvania. Avoid traveling if you can the next couple of days, but I know it's, you know, flipping the calendar into Monday. A lot of you have to travel. In that case, allow plenty of room for snow plows to work out there. Still watching for some heavy mountain snow in areas of the Cascades and down to the Sierra Nevada on California, adding to more of that heavy snowpack. So out east, area low pressure out east from Chicago. Some light snow is lingering. Eventually, snow will intensify. It's going to be a moderate to heavy wet snow event for cities like New York City overnight tonight, lasting through the day Monday. And a cold front will cut into the Intermountain West as well. For the central U.S., it's very quiet. Denver, near 50 in sunshine. Enjoy, 64 in Houston. And there's a look at your highs for the first day of February tomorrow.